legends, g'day superstars, it's Peps. And for the 24th time this year, we're going to be rolling through the teams for a massive round of AFL football. I'm bringing you our tips for the last week of the regular season, where 10 teams season will be finishing as of Monday to kick into Mayad Monday, where we're going to have lots of drinks, lots of midgets set on fire, and maybe the odd news story coming out of it. But it doesn't mean that the last weekend of football is going to be a boring one. It is going to be a corker, a rip snorter, and it's going to be one of the best weekends of footy that I think is going to occur this year in the 2024 season. And it is all kicking off on Friday evening, 7.40 p.m. at the home of football. Yes, you know it. It is the Melbourne Cricket Ground, Melbourne versus Collingwood, the traditional enemies, you would say. But it's only grown since the Maynard Brayshaw incident in the finals last year. Melbourne were awesome last week against the Gold Coast Suns and Collingwood, what a great win that they had against Brisbane, pinching victory from the jaws of defeat late in their game. So both these teams not making finals, but want to go out with a bit of uh, respect heading into preseason for 2025. And when I look at both these teams, who do I trust more? Well, I would probably go with Collingwood because they have been, you almost say, the better team. They are higher on the ladder at this particular moment in time, but they have been a real letdown of their premiership from last year. I'd even go as far as to say that they almost stole a flag last year. Hey, go by the history. They made the grand final, won the grand final, didn't make finals the year later. Melbourne, on the other hand, have made finals twice, yet they did go Sam Stowe's up and lose in straight sets. I'm going with a radical idea for this one. I'm going with a draw. I'm picking a draw. There'd be no greater way for these two enemies to finish with a draw in their last game for the season. They're not going to go in victory. They're not going to have defeat. They're going with a draw. So, yes, I'm saying Melbourne Collingwood will be a draw on Friday night. Right, T O. Geelong versus West Coast Saturday, 1.45 p.m. at GMHBA Stadium. Geelong will win this. West Coast, it's the last game of the season. Uh, they're really just packing things up. Looking forward to hitting IBs. So Geelong, they've got finals. They've got big up fish to fry. They'll probably rest a few of their players, but I will say this. I think that they'll take this one out and take it out quite easily. West Coast, I wouldn't be surprised if they lose this by at least 10 goals. And um, put the Schofield um, experiment in a little bit of limbo. But Geelong, 10 goals. Easy against West Coast Eagles. Right here. Richmond versus Gold Coast. Saturday, 2, 10 p.m. MCG. Dusty's last game. Pickett's last game. But Gold Coast, can they win away from home for the second time this season? I think that they can. But I wouldn't, see, I wouldn't mind seeing a really spirited effort from the Richmond Football Club seeing their beautiful players off with a smile on their faces. But I think it's not going to happen. And I think Gold Coast will win this one. They'll be shattered after the way that they got demoralized by the Ds up there on their home deck. And they'll be willing to try and get that second win and get the most wins in their club's history with 11 if they win this. So I'm going by Gold Coast by no more than two goals. Well, I talk about two teams that are uh, exciting and really exciting. It's going to be a Utah, Utah Saints, Utah Saints. It's Hawthorne. It's North Melbourne Football Club. Hawthorne, magnificent. They're going to play finals. Who would have thought it after being 0-5? and five? And North Melbourne. Yes, they've had some hiccups, but their second half of the season has been so much more encourageable. But I'll have to say, I'm going with the Hawks just by a team who's playing great football. Smashed their opposition last week. I don't think they will smash North Melbourne. Probably a six or seven -er goal win. But if it is a blustery day, if it's a cold day, if it's a windy day down there, it could be a bit of a fight out. And I really like the steal of North Melbourne's midfield. So if it's a nice, clean, crisp day, Hawthorne to win by at least six goals. If it is a tight in and under day, I've got a feeling North Melbourne might be able to bring that within two goals. But I can't see them winning, but I really would like them to finish off the season on a high and leave their supporters with a bit of a taste of uh, something to come in the near future. Rightio, talking about a team that needs to win, Brisbane Lions versus Destin. Brisbane, they had a top four position locked in, almost top two locked in last week. If they had beaten Collingwood, 
And once again at the MCG, they fell on their asses. And Essendon have been dragging their asses all season. They know how to steal hope from their supporter base. They know how to just drizzle them in misery. And they're going to do it again. Saturday, 7.30 p.m. at the Jabba the Hut. Brisbane will take this one out. They are going to put a stamp on this competition and say, no, 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 we are a top four team and we are going to win. And I can see this one probably getting a little bit ugly. If they kick straight, which is the opposite of what they did last week, they will do this and they'll do it quite easily. And Essendon, they've got nothing really to ride home about. They are looking for some pride, but the pride of the Lions, they will be the ones who will be roaring at the end of the night and this will get about to an eight or nine goal victory. I think that Essendon will put the cue in the rack around about half time and it is going to be an absolute slaughter in the back end. Right, yeah, one team that had been slaughtered and one team that's been slaughtering everybody over the course of the season, Sydney versus Adelaide, 7.40 p.m. at the SSG is going to be an absolute cracker of a game. Adelaide really buoyant with the way that they displayed themselves last week in the showdown. No Rankin, no Richelli, so that's going to make it a little bit difficult. Sydney, they're going to be looking to, to uh, hit their straps heading into the pre-finals by, and good to see that the Chad Warner is back as well too. So Sydney on their home deck, I think that they will be way too strong. This might actually be a little bit tighter than a lot of people think, but I just think Sydney have got their game. I think they've got a bit of sizzle back in their stake after the last couple of months. And I think they'll take this one out. Won't be a blowout. I'll go maybe three or four goals and just set themselves up nicely for the break and then heading into round one of the 2024 finals. Right, yeah. Let's get into the Sunday games. This, I think, is the game of the weekend. Western Bulldogs versus GWS down at Mars Stadium in Ballarat. Get your thermals out, ladies and gentlemen, because that's going to be cold in the stands, but the action is going to be hot, hot, hot when the Western Bulldogs take on the Giants down there. Hey, Western Bulldogs can't fault what they did last week. GWS, what a victory that was. They are just absolutely awesome. Probably the two informed teams, if you throw in the Hawks, who are not in this game, so who do we go for? Do we trust the Bulldogs more or do we trust the Giants more? I think the Western Bulldogs forward line is really firing at the moment. And I really like that Sam Darcy, Jamara, and also Norton mix-up. Bit of Waitman. West won't be there. So that's going to take a bit of a sting out of that. But when you've got Hogan and a midfield and a back line that is just being able to dominate like they have over the last couple of weeks, and probably most of the year, I think GWS are a massive chance. Who needs to win this more? The Western Bulldogs, they want to get a home final. And the only way they can get a home final is if they win. So they're going to be playing at their second home ground, which they love playing down at Mars. They love playing GWS down there. And I think the Bulldogs will take this one out in less than a goal. This will be tight all day. And I really hope Jesse Hogan gets a few to really solidify that Coleman medal uh, and to really put an exclamation mark on an awesome season. He's been sensational for them and uh, good on him to taking out the Coleman. Right, yeah. I thought that was the game of the weekend until we look at what's happening at Marvel Stadium at 3.20 p.m. Carlton versus St. Kilda. Carlton need to win to make finals. That's pretty much how it works. St. Kilda, they would love to take another scalp because over the last couple of weeks, they've been able to do that. And I think that they will. Even having Kerno come back in and Saad coming back in, I really like the cut of St. Kilda's jib at the moment. Their midfield was humming. Their forwards were getting a bit more zigzagger in there as well too, and the defense was held, holding up beautifully. And I think if they bring that run and gun style instead of that dour defense side of things, they can definitely take this one out. They've got to stop Cripps because he is the uh, barometer. And if they can do that, which is a massive task in itself, there are a really big chance of winning this. And I'm causing an upset. I think St. Kilda will win this one uh, and they'll win it by no more than two goals and really put a bit of a shaker on Collingwood, uh, Carlton's chance to make finals because it's all going to depend on the last game of the weekend. Fremantle, Port Adelaide. Frio win, Frio win, they're in. Carlton win, they're pretty much in. Frio are out. That's how it's going to be working. And unless Collingwood beat Melbourne by 200 points, that's the only way that they can get in. But Frio versus Port Sunday, 6.10 p.m. at Optus Stadium. What a way to finish. Could you imagine if we get down to the last game of the last round over there in Perth, and it is live. It is everything that we've been asking for for the most unpredictable season that I think any of us could agree has occurred this season. So I'm going with Fremantle to win with not much confidence, but they know that they win, they're in. Three weeks ago, they were sitting top four 
lost the next three games and had the potential to fall out of the eight. That is how critical this win is going to be. Port Adelaide, they would love to get that home final, ending up second on the ladder. Having the showdown win last week led a lot to that. And I think that it's going to be very, very close. But I wouldn't be surprised if Port win. I will be honest. Because Frio can really stink up the joint. But when Frio are playing that football that is a little bit electric, they can take this out. And they've got a pretty good forward line as well. Don't be uh, don't be surprised that loss of Houston is going to be bigger for Port Adelaide than we think. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, there is our final tipped out round. 24 tips. Like I said, 10 teams have only got four quarters of football left for the season. Hope they go out on a banger. Make sure that you like, subscribe, ring the bell. We want to get to a 1,000 TikTok subscribers as well too. So get onto our TikTok channel, give it a bit of a like, and uh, we will be able to go live during our finals previews. We'll be back, Jamie and I, Tuesday night with our live show, live on Facebook, live on YouTube. And fingers crossed we can get to that uh, magic number for TikTok as well so we can go live there for you as well. But too. So everybody, there's our tips. I'm Peps. That's how you like your footy. Lace out. Hope your team wins. And um, good luck for this week and potentially finals time. I'll see you then.